Welcome to Step 10, Harvest at Peak Quality, and the 10 Steps to a Successful Vegetable Garden. Your vegetables may not look like what you see in the grocery store. You may be growing some very different varieties from what are being harvested commercially and sold to us in the markets. You do want to do your harvesting in the morning. That's when the fruit are going to be at their best, the plants are going to be at their best. Most vegetables are at peak quality for only a short period of time and should be harvested. The seed packet will tell you how many days will elapse before this variety of whatever you're growing is ready for harvest. There are some very specific guidelines for every crop we plant and if you're buying seed, that information is either in the catalog or on the seed packet. If you've bought transplants that are really well labeled, the label that came with the plant should also indicate about when you should expect to be harvesting. Safe plastic container that we're going to harvest into. Um, this came from the St. Vincent de Paul kitchen, so we know it's been, you know, sanitized and all that. But if you have something like this, or even a Tupperware, it's a good idea to give it a little scrub with the, with the soap and water and rinse it well before you harvest. Immature vegetables will not improve after harvest, and over-mature vegetables will be tough and lack the desired taste and texture. When you're gardening your own gardens, you can pick your vegetables as teeny tiny babies. You can pick them larger. If plants get too large, if the crop gets too overgrown, it's important to go in and harvest it. If it isn't what you think is quality good enough for eating, compost it. But most of our vegetables are plants that are in the process of growing the seed crop for the next generation. But follow the guidelines from the seed pack or the tags. So pick them small, pick them young, pick them sweet and tender, and they will keep producing. Remove field heat as soon as possible by placing the vegetables in the shade or a refrigerator unless they are eaten immediately. This one's ready for harvest, so I'm just going to take the outer leaves and harvest the outer leaves because if the inner part of the plant is where it's growing from and we don't want to harvest from where it's growing from. An uh, abundance of harvest or if you didn't get quite enough and you want to keep it for a couple more days, put it in the fridge. Don't leave it sit out somewhere hot. Once you get vegetables harvested, since they're not attached to the plant, they start storing their energy not as sugar but as starch. You can slow that action down by putting them in the refrigerator. The other alternative is to pick enough to eat and prepare it and consume it. Twisting off the tops of the zucchinis as opposed to the lettuce knife. Um, if you have a good angle on it, you can cut it, but both ways work. Once you remove the vegetable from the plant, growth stops. Now, if you're thinking about saving some of your crop for seed, you leave those particular specimens on the plant for as long as absolutely possible until they actually go beyond ready for picking and harvest and on to ripe or overripe. For more information, visit the University of Arizona's Cooperative Extension website.